What's up everyone? My name is Nick. We're at Arong Sarai Waterfall and this is Global Giving. It's a beautiful sunny morning and we've arrived at Kampong Salabat near Muayat Bas. It's about a 30 minute drive from Kuching. We're setting off into the jungle to climb Bukit Batu Salabat. So this trail has been closed for over a year. They've just recently reopened the trail to the Bukit, the hills. They just recently cleared the trail again and it's all ready to go. We gotta cross some rivers and it's adventure time. The village, Kampong Salabat, is ready for local tourism. Uh, there are six guides here available for you to hire and to go on this trek. There's also a beautiful waterfall that we're gonna check out, but more about that later. Here in the state of Sarawak on the island of Borneo, in the country of Malaysia, there's a lot of hills and mountains. And in the local language, a hill is a bukit and a mountain is a gunung. Today we're climbing a hill, which is called Bukit Batu Selabat, I believe. For people from the Netherlands, this is definitely a mountain. <laughs> but over here, it's called a hill. This hill is about two to 300 meters above sea level. It's uncertain, they've never measured it. We're ready to climb, we're starting to sweat, starting to breathe heavier, let's go. On this beautiful hike with me today is my friend Aaron and our local guide, Mr. Mutt. It's a great trail. It goes straight up the mountain, so there's no real flat pieces. It's all just climbing up and climbing up. The main part goes through some of the farms here where they planted pepper and various types of fruits. So it's quite interesting to learn about peppers and what else they grow here in Borneo. only halfway up the mountain but the view is already pretty impressive. Our guide Mr. Mutt has been living in this area for many generations. Well, he hasn't been living here for many generations. His family has been living here for many, many generations. They own this farmland, which runs all the way from the bottom, where the village is, all the way to the top of the mountain. So he spends most of his days climbing up and down this hill, planting, you know, crops and whatever. He's a, he's a very, very strong man. It's hot which is great, that means we're gonna have a great view from the top later, because there's almost no cloud cover. And uh, I'm sweating a little bit. Now before I forget, if you like these kind of videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload videos every week, so click that subscribe link. Thank you. Come on, Aaron, you can do it. Aaron, how, uh, how are you feeling? Ooh, I wasn't, I don't know, just tired. One thing to always keep in mind when hiking in the jungles of Borneo is that you're gonna sweat a lot. I estimate that I sweat about half a liter of fluid per every hour to two hours. So after a long hike, you can lose about two liters of your sweat. That means you gotta stay hydrated. So always make sure you bring a lot of water. And don't forget the snacks because you need some energy. Now what's interesting about this climb is that there are so many rocks and huge boulders as you climb your way up to the top of the mountain. And the mountain top is actually called Bukit Batu Selabat. Selabat is the name of the village. Batu means rocks and Bukit, as I mentioned earlier, means a hill. So it's the hill of rocks at Selabat. Interesting.
Dah nak sampai Saya boleh tengok batu-batu atas bukit sudah We're almost at the summit But we got to climb a bit more and a bit steeper We've got the ropes, so here we go Alright, this is the last climb to the top of the mountain. Top of the bukit. Whew. We made it to the top of Bukit Batu Selabat. And the views here are stunning. Beautiful, beautiful. The hike up to this hill mountain is about an hour. So you park your car at the village there, you pay your entrance fee, it's 50 ringgit for a guide and 10 or 20 ringgit per person depending on your group size. And then you start hiking through the little farms after about an hour of climbing with ropes you get on top of this beautiful big big boulder that sits right on the top of this hill. Like I said, the views are amazing. We can see for, I would say, it's about a 40 kilometer or 50 kilometer viewpoint or view that we can see from here. We see Kuching, we see Samarahan. We're looking down at Bako, which is right here next to it. I think the border lies just there, Bako National Park. And it's a pleasure to be here. The jungle is so beautiful. These views are amazing. So again, get out there and explore. It's time to head down the hill because we're off to our next destination, which is the Arong Sarait Waterfall. Back into the jungle, and we're ready for a refreshing dip later. Let's go. If you take the same hike as we do, it takes another hour to go from the top of the Bukit to the Arong Sarait waterfall. Again, through a bit of the farms with the pepper here and then all the way down into the thicker jungle to the waterfall. Heading back into the jungle for more adventure time. So you say like uh, how they got to know this place was when they were farming. In those days they were just you know, cutting around the trees and then cultivating the land and they went up the hill and said, Oh look, this is a nice uh, hill and we should turn it into a tourist destination. And then I asked him about how did they found about the waterfall. And same, cultivate the land and then they, oh, they stumble across this waterfall. Interesting. Apparently this is the Tongkat Ali, which is a very famous shrub or wood here in Malaysia. The locals use the jungle as their supermarket. For example, this Tongkat Ali, which is a piece of tree, they would pound it and then they would put it in tea, for example, and it's like an energy drink. 
it makes you stronger. As you can see, our guide, he drinks quite a bit of it and he's one of the fittest persons I've ever met. So we found some more pitcher plants here and I believe that these pitcher plants, this type, is used by the locals to cook sticky rice in. Very interesting. I love hiking on these kinds of trails, especially when the locals really take care of the forest and they maintain the trails. You know, it's easy to walk and it's beautiful and people don't get off the paths so the rest of the jungle stays beautifully intact. Props to this village and props to Mr. Mutt for taking care of this beautiful forest. If you watch this video and you want to go on this hike, you can find the details to contact Mr. Mutt and his family in the description down below. So send them a message, they can do WhatsApp as well, and you can book your day, book your trip, because it's well, well worth it. It's a great hike, and it's amazing here. Look at the size of this leaf, wow. We're at the final river crossing before we reach the waterfall. After a great hike through the thicker jungle, we finally arrived at the Arong Sarait waterfall. We're ready to jump in and enjoy this footage. made it to the Arong Saride waterfall. It's a beautiful two-tiered waterfall in the beautiful jungle right here and I'm so happy. It is amazing. I'm changing to my shorts because it's time to swim. So that's the end of the video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. Please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.